Welcome to this rec uh, recording of our revision set, which were extracted from uh, paper one of 2018, and we're looking at our question eight, part A, which is about trigonometry. Part B is going to be tackled in another recording. So we are given a right angle triangle, X, Y, Z, where angle Z is 90 degrees and sine X is equal to 4 over 5. Find the value of cos X. Okay, first let's see what is happening. We are given a right angle triangle. So this triangle is 90 degrees at Z and X can be at this point and our Y can be that point. So we are told that sine x, sine of the angle at x is equal to 4 over 5. Now from the trig ratio, uh, let's just do a recap. So cal tau. So from so tau, we know that uh, sine of an angle is equal to the opposite of that angle over the hypotenuse. So if this is the, the opposite, it means it's a four. So this will be four and the hypotenuse will be five. Okay, now find the value of cos x. So to find the value of cos x, we use the same uh, ratio. Now in this case, curve, where we are saying cos x is equal to adjacent of hypotenuse. So the adjacent of the angle at x is x z. So we need to find this. Uh, distance, this length. Now, for us to find this, we can use the, the Pythagoras theorem. We can say xz is equal to the square root of uh, xy squared minus so the hypotenuse, the square root of the hypotenuse minus the square root, the square, uh, rather the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of uh, the adjacent. So we have the adjacent is yz squared. Okay. So this we have xy is 5, 5 squared is 25. So 5 squared minus now yz is 4, so 4 squared. Uh, so we have 25 minus 16, so 25 minus 16 is 9, so the square root of 9 is equal to 3. Now here there is no negative distance, so only pick the positive value. Okay, so we have found x z to be 3. Now we can say uh, sine x is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's actually equal to three, the adjacent over and the hypotenuse pi. Okay, and this is the answer that we are looking for. Okay, I'm going to pause here for now, and in the next recording, we will cover part B of this question, which is actually uh, about uh, the quadratic uh, function. I hope you are enjoyed this lesson and uh, see you in the next recording. Bye.